Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the squad. Hi, how are you doing when you're watching this? It's Tuesday. How's it going? The week is still brand new. We're almost there, you guys. <laughs> I get a lot of common questions. I've also gotten a couple requests for certain videos and I wanted to start, you know, putting those videos out. And one of them was prop money, as you can see over here. How do I use it? Where do I get it from? Why do I use it? Benefits, cons, all of that fun stuff. So I thought I'd make a video at least designated to prop money. Um, so that way, you know, if there are questions, I could have them all in the one video so that they're easier to get to. Either way, I get to everyone's comment, but you know what I mean. First thing is first, when I started watching these budgeting videos, um, no one that I found was using prop money. Everyone was using real cash. Um, it wasn't until I feel like recently I started seeing more and more people use prop money but when I first started even like off camera like I really wasn't seeing it at all I think I was seeing at most like placeholders you know because people didn't want to have that much money in their house and stuff like that but I wasn't seeing a lot of people just use all prop money no by no means am i saying i was the first one <laughs> but at least from the people that i was seeing i wasn't seeing people use prop money um at least not for all of their envelopes so when i started doing this i originally wasn't even doing like cash envelopes i was literally just tracking everything in my notes app in my phone and then I would subtract every time I would use money. So it was just, I was just keeping track of it. And then I was like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do the envelope system. I want to, you know, commit to it. But, but I don't want to use real cash. And I have never, ever, ever used real cash in my stuffings. I only use real cash in my wallet cash envelopes and that's because I literally carry less than what I'm trying to do the math less than $80 in my wallet and even then it doesn't last long you guys <laughs> so that's the reason I use cash in my wallet I also it allows me to limit myself in spending in things that I do spend most of my money on which is food food <laughs> personal <laughs> more food <laughs> and so on so for me personally it has worked from the beginning I've never tried cash I know people say like it's not the same it's not the same feeling you know things like that which totally fair you know I'm not saying it's for everyone but I will say as someone that's never used cash, I really can't tell the difference. <laughs> and I'll get into why. So where do I get my prop money? So I get my prop money from Amazon and you literally just type in prop money. <laughs> and the one I get is like literally less than 10 bucks. You get a ton, uh, you'll get an array amount of 100s, 50s, 20s, uh tens fives ones and twos and sometimes depending on like who you purchase from it'll be you know it'll have certain bills and so on i feel like the second thing that comes from that is like how can you tell the difference you know like are you scared stuff like that so the ones i get have like this the writing here and then they also have the writing in the back. So like you can obviously tell it's not real. However, I was just scared that, I don't know, one day like I would just put a fake 20. It literally wouldn't happen, but that's just me. Like I think of like 
potential scenarios that will literally never occur. And so I actually went through and wrote fake money on all my bills. I also had this fear, someone sees me with all this fake money, they're gonna be like, hold up girl. Like, what is that? Like, what is she doing? Like, what funny business is she doing? And so I was like, no, no, fake money is not real, mind your business. So <laughs> that's how I can tell the difference. Again, I also don't use real money in my envelopes, so I don't get mixed up ever because there's literally no scenario in which I would get mixed up considering I don't have real money in my house. I have seen people, like if you watch Black and Blue, she will take um like her placeholders whenever she does her bill swaps she'll decorate them and she'll put like washi tape and she'll make them look really cute just so again you can tell the difference i've seen people put stickers you know anything that will just scream to you that says fake uh they also although they look pretty real they feel fake again i don't think you would ever you know have a whoopsies but if you did those are some ideas i wrote fake money um you can put stickers washi tape the world is your oyster you guys next point is how do i use prop money so when you see my cash stuffings you'll see i put cash stuffing paycheck number one and it'll be a certain amount right so that is the portion of my check or whatever the video is that I am choosing to stuff. So what I have in fake money is what I have in my bank account. And with that, nothing ever leaves my account. I don't pull anything out. It stays in there. It's secure. It's just nowhere near my house, which is what I like. So for me the fake money it's an exact representation of the money that i'm stuffing for that particular video or that i have in my account so with that being said i treat this money like real money like if a bill goes out of my account i will go to that particular envelope and i will take that specific amount out if i buy something using one of my sinking funds boom, that same day I will take that money out. I treat this money as if it was real money so that I, it never feels like I can just swipe away or it never feels like I'm not being held accountable or, you know, that I'm just kind of winging it. Like, no, like if I'm swiping and I don't, again, I use cash envelopes, but if I'm swiping for other purposes, I take the money out as soon as it, as soon as I use it. For instance, I went to the eye doctor on Saturday and I used my debit card because I had my medical money in there and with that, I used my card because it had the money and then as soon as I got home I took out that money from my medical envelope because it wasn't there anymore I had used it so I literally treat it as if it were the money that people regularly have in their cash envelopes because they would need they would do no different if they purchase something on their credit card if they purchase something on their debit card or if they were wanting to purchase something what would they do they would go into their envelopes take the money out and then either pay themselves back or you know go buy it or whatever I do the same exact thing except it's fake money <laughs> with that I I personally you know I don't want to tell you what to use stuff like that like I always tell people do your own research see what works for you because that's what budgeting truly is and that's what finances are you know what works for someone may not work for you method that someone uses may not work for you when it comes to sinking funds stuff like that i do have separate accounts so that those separate sinking funds are separated and organized so just how i organize everything here with my envelopes i have my account organized as well and that's just to make sure that everything is being taken care of tracked 
again not in my house so pros cons so on so i would say pros i don't have to worry about um doing a bank run stuff like that yes i have to get money for my wallet but because i don't take out or give myself as much money then i can just go to the atm and it should give me the right denominations if not i try to figure it out another pro is that it is not in my house i feel much safer i you know whether you don't live in a safe area or you know you never know like what if something happens to your house or whatever and then there goes your money like that's just not in the spot i'm trying to be at for me it's a security purpose um you know i'm not gonna tell you guys where i live but i definitely wouldn't have money laying around my house <laughs> which is why i don't other thing i would say is if you open up accounts, like for instance, I know there's different online banking systems that you can use or savings accounts, you can earn interest on your money. So it's like your money is working for you essentially. And it may not be a lot depending on, you know, the institution that you use, but at the end of the day, it is interest that you occurred. I would say cons, I personally, don't have any <laughs> you know I'm not just saying that I just I truly don't have any issues any problems with prop money like I said I from watching other people I know they feel like it's not the same or you know the accountability is much harder because you know you see all this money in your bank account or in your savings or whatever and you think to yourself oh like I can treat myself to, you know, a dinner and I can treat myself out to this and I can treat myself out to that. But in reality, no, you cannot because they should be going towards like specific sinking funds. So it really comes down to how you operate and how you work as a person. Um, I truly don't, I track my bank account from the stand of like, I make sure that, you know, there aren't any transactions that I didn't approve or that stuff wasn't transferred without my authorization. That's more so what I track. But aside from that, I don't look at my bank account and think like, oh, I have this much money. Like, no, I look at my wallet and I see, oh, I spent all my food money <laughs> since I've been doing it from the beginning. It's just I'm just used to it. Like, I don't again look at my account and think, oh, wow, you know, like I can order stuff on Amazon. Your girl loves Amazon. Like, ugh. but anyways, not the point. Honestly, that's it. Like I said, like, I don't have cons. Like I love property. I feel like it has the same effect, but again, just because it works for me, it may not work for you. And that's totally okay. I tried to address as much as I could, but obviously it's a lot. I know people are curious. So if I missed anything or you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and I will get to you. I always do. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I always get to you guys. So definitely leave that down below. As always, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the squad. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.